Kyle, with the way the last season ended in that 2022 NFC Championship game, Brock Purdy goes down, Josh Johnson goes down. How much has that loss fueled the run that you guys are on right now? Um, I think a lot. I think it's really fueled us. Obviously, it hurt after that game. But in a way, the fact that it was kind of out of our hands kind of like made it hurt like in, in a different way. And I felt like that really gave us such motivation for this whole off season. It's like, okay, that was taken from us. Um, once we get our guys back, once we're healthy, like we can draw off of that and know that, you know, if we put everything into it that we did this previous season, we can put ourselves right back in that situation and be better prepared for it this time. Getting healthy wasn't an easy task. Brock had that off-season elbow injury, then he had surgery for it. There was questions whether he would make it in time for training camp. Fast forward to today, you've got a Pro Bowl QB, an offense that's scoring 29 points a game in the regular season. Um, you know, how good did it feel to put those question marks to rest? Incredible, and I, I can only imagine how Brock feels. Um, I mean, it's literally like a storyline out of a movie. And I think I also saw a tweet that, you know, Brock is in his second year, he tore his UCL, and I'm pretty sure he beat every single NFC playoff team this year um, after returning from a torn UCL. Like, it's just, just something that you only see in movies, but um, so incredibly happy for him and, and so happy for us as a team to be able to answer those questions, answer those doubts. You know, was it just the fact that you lost your quarterback in that game that you weren't able to make it to the Super Bowl? Um, and I think we've been able to answer that. I want to take a look back week 13 of that 2022 season because you were on the receiving end of his very first career touchdown pass. Knowing what you know now, can you put into words what this past year and a half yeah. has been like? I always try to remind, I, I remind Brock, hey buddy, don't forget about the guy that caught your first touchdown. Uh, we can do that in the Super Bowl too, you know. Um, but. Man, it is so crazy to think like that he stepped in in the middle of a game, came out there, played the way he did, and usually like after that, you know, we're down to our third quarterback. We still won the game, but usually like there's a little bit of panic. Like we have to finish the season with our third quarterback. But the way that he finished that game, there really wasn't that panic. Like I remember driving home and like thinking like we're gonna be okay. Like I. I think it almost worked out better that he got to play so much in that game. Um, and it wasn't like, all right, we're going into the next week and he's going to have his first outing and we don't know what he can do. Like, we got to see a little bit of it. And I mean, he's just, he's continued to get better every single day since then. Veterans like yourself were talking about just the flashes that he showed in his first training camp in that first preseason game. What did you see that the rest of us couldn't? Um, you know what, it, we always, we saw little things like in practice, we're like, oh, this guy's, he's kind of a gamer, or, or you know, he can play. Um, but it's always hard to, you know, really know. It's, it's in practice, it's, you know, whatever. But I remember we were playing in Houston for a preseason game, and I remember the starters, we were done, and we're watching, and I remember Brock got in, and we're all like, oh, wow, Brock got in a lot earlier than what we expected. And I'm like, okay, like he's, he's, he's shown some things. He must be impressing the coaches. Like, let's see what he can do. And I remember he ripped this seam ball to Ross Dwelly. And we all just kind of looked at each other like, that's why he's out there right now. Like, this guy can play. And it's just been like little moments like that, each and every like step of the way for his path that like we've all, you know, like really gained that respect for him and that trust. And, we just continue to see it every single time that he's out there, that it's, it's just really easy to expect that from him now. You're one of the OGs of this team. You were here for the start of the Kyle Shanahan, John Lynch era, second time in the Super Bowl with this team. You talked about savoring the moments. How are you approaching this run a little bit differently than before? Yeah, I, I definitely have a, a greater appreciation for these moments, um, you know, in football, in life. like. This is the pinnacle of our sport. The Super Bowl is what we all dream of, what we all think about when we're little kids running around in the backyard. Is like, it's about winning the Super Bowl. It's not. It's not all about just getting to the Super Bowl. It's about winning it, and that's something that has really hit me this this time around because it's so hard to get here. And no matter how good your team is, no matter how prepared you are, like there is a little bit of luck involved, and like sometimes things are just out of your control. And so for now, that all right, we've. We've made it through, we've weathered any of those storms. We have the team, we're here. You've got to take advantage of it. We have to win it. 
um, in order to really feel like we've uh, accomplished like our, our final goal. You've been a part of many special teams here with the San Francisco 49ers. This is fourth NFC Championship in five seasons, second Super Bowl birth in those same five seasons. What sets this roster apart? A number of things. I think obviously the talent. I think we just have incredible talent from, um, from top down. But I also think the, the tightness of the group. Um, this is by far the most tight-knit NFL team I've ever been a part of. Like I, I genuinely feel like these are my brothers. And it's when you're close that you can be so hard on one another. You know, we have expectations for each other and we can speak openly about it. And um, because we have that respect for one another, like it's not awkward and it, it's taken the right way. Uh, and I think that's one of the bigger reasons of why we've been so successful. Thank you.